Hello and welcome to the Wine Turtle YouTube channel. My name is Jamie and I'll be your host as we taste and review popular wines from around the world. Today I've got an incredibly popular wine. This is the 2022 Chardonnay from Yellowtail. Now Yellowtail are from southeastern Australia and they make massive quantities of wine. I mean, they make everything, every popular wine variety you can think of. These guys make it and they ship it all over the world. This tiny bottle here is part of a four pack of miniatures I have, which contained the Cabernet Sauvignon, which I reviewed quite poorly on the channel, a Merlot and a Pinot Grigio that will be coming up in videos soon. Now, these wines cost about $7 for the Chardonnay anyway, for a full bottle. It's about as cheap as it gets, it really is. And I tend to find that Chardonnay is a grape that doesn't really translate into cheap wines. It's a, Chardonnay is a wine I enjoy. I'm yet to find a good cheap one. This could be it, you never know. So I've had bad experiences with Yellowtail before. But today, I go into this full of optimism. So, let's get tasting. It's a golden straw in colour. There's um, quite a strong note of cinnamon. Allspice cinnamon, mainly. Which is fairly unusual. Never had it this as this big a factor in a nose in a wine before. It's usually quite a subtle note. But yeah, vanilla, allspice cinnamon coming from the oak. And fruit, but it's it's not fresh fruit. It's like tinned peaches, tinned pineapple. A little bit of honeydew melon. It all smells sweet, which was sadly my fear. It's commonly the downfall of these cheap wines. So we'll see how it tastes. Yeah, it's too sweet. Medium bodied, but the texture is not pleasant. It's syrupy. Um, and the finish, you get a little bit of that sweet fruit coming through. A bit of a tropical element as well. It's a bit of mango there, alongside some honeydew melon and that tin peach. But it's all gone within within seconds. It, there's uh, there's no persistence of, of flavor here at all, and a, a non-existent finish. Like I said, it's sweet. It needs. A barrel load of acidity to to give it some lift give it some life but yeah there's nowhere near enough acidity there really lacks balance overly sweet lacks fresh fruit as well it needs like a yeah the, the fruit is yeah it's not i mean you would call this a fruit forward wine being that the the dominant notes are fruity but yeah, it's like syrupy tinned fruit. It's not very pleasant. And yeah, far too sweet for me. So I'll need to think about a score, but it's not going to be a good one. And thus continues my poor run with budget Chardonnay. I just can't find a good cheap Chardonnay. If you know one, please let me know in the comments. I would love to try it. This for me just doesn't work on any level right from the nose it's just off it doesn't really smell like chardonnay not your typical characteristics of the grape and, and it smells sweet which sadly it is it's syrupy with tinned fruit notes it's, yeah who wants tinned fruit <laughs> it's it's just unpleasantness and there's a little bit of a stringency on that very, very quick finish as well. 
I really don't have anything good to say about it, I'm afraid. So a score, it's gonna be five out of 10. Really low one, not had much worse than this on the channel, I'm afraid. I have a small bottle of this and I'm not gonna be able to finish it. It's unpleasant. So don't buy this wine. Uh, there's much better Chardonnay out there. Hopefully we'll have some on the channel soon. And like I said, if you know a good cheap Chardonnay, please let me know in the comments. I want to try it. I just can't find them. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this a thumbs up. It would help me out so much. I would really appreciate it. Okay, hope you join me next time. Goodbye. <laughs>